Tuwe baza katonda ulo kulunga mizibwa kwa lunga mia mkade wa face Bishop Stephen Senfuma But we thank the Lord for the guidance that he gives to our Bishop Stephen Senfuma Ukubanti mkasera kana ka lockdown tuli relevant To see that we remain relevant in such a time Bible of lockdown Bible yogira kubataba ni wa Isa Kali Abama nya Isa ili cheino kola Abama ya ibiru na ibisera ni Isa ili cheino kola The Bible talks about the sons of Isa Kali who knew what to do and what Israel was supposed to do and the times and seasons so twe bazaka tonda anti tetuli tetukwa tidwa bali tetuli offside nga united christian center tusigadenga tusobola kubanga tuweleza mbisere bilinga bino we therefore thank the lord because as united christian center we've not remained offside but we've continued to minister in such times katsabe let's pray Everlasting Father, we thank you for this time that you have given us. Tuyambe okuchikoze sobulunji okuzimbe emeyo jafe ne ndowoza zafe. Help us to use it profitably that we may edify our spirits and our minds. No kongero kunyweza enkola gana yafe no moyo mutukuvu. And to continue to establish our relationship with the Holy Spirit. Yogere liye mitima jafe lise ndowoza zafe. Speak to our hearts and nurture our minds. Tuyambe okubeira abanyweva abayimilivu abagirivu. Help us to be wise, immovable, and be and be and be strong in you. And that we may go out of such a moment when we are more than powerful. We surrender everything into your hands and we promise you all the glory and the honor. Yesterday uh, we started on um, uh, a topic which I named four days. Four major days in life. Onakuraja tu atandi se kumotwe. We naise ena kwenkuru enya mubulamu. And we listed them down. Erane tugeza kozi menya menya. And I told you that we are going to make, we are going to put emphasis on the fourth one. Atene mbaga manti tugeenda kuteke sira kuruna korokuna. I said yesterday that the first day is today. Today is a major day in our lives. And we need to pay attention to it. Today is the day that you have. You don't live in yesterday. You don't live in tomorrow. Once you start living in those two, you are not relevant. You don't live in the past. You don't live in the past. And you don't live in the future. You only live in today. Yesterday is your teacher. Tomorrow is in the future. Today is present. Today is your graduation day. Yesterday was full of experience. Experiment, yeah, full of experience, full of mistakes. Tomorrow is your expectations. But today is your experimentation day. Today you, you graduate from the mistakes of yesterday. So today is the first day. The next day that is very important. It is the day called the day of salvation. The day of salvation is important. Because it's the day that uh, graduates us from uh, being children of uh, the wrath of God to being children of God. Your destiny, your eternal destiny is changed. So it is very important not to miss that day. We get that day or we are exposed to that day every day. We are exposed to that day today. So today is important because the day of salvation, you are exposed to the day of salvation today. So to, the first day is today. The second day is the day of salvation. And the third day is the day of your death. 
Death is so near to us that we don't know. You should pay attention to that day called death. Don't take it away from your focus. Always think about your death. The writer of the book of Ecclesiastes says in chapter 7 verse 1, he says that the day of your, the day of your death is better than the day of your birth. It is the day of your termination of contract here on earth. Whenever you live on this planet without, without thinking of that day, I'm telling you, you are going to quote they're going to get you unawares. And we cannot run away from it. Yesterday I gave you a story and I'm repeating it. It is a story, it is a, 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 a parable of uh, people from Baghdad. But I'm going to use the places you know. There was a certain servant. Servant or slave. Okay. Uh, went to the market. When he went to the market. He found a lady there. And this lady just sold her, her sold her so much. And uh, when, she, when this servant realized, he found out that this lady was called death. He ran back to his master and he told him, I found the man in, ma in the market. I found the lady in the market. And she has hustled me so much. But give me your, your horse that I may run away from her. So he gave him a house, a horse. And he ran to the next city. Let's say he went to, he ran to Kawempe. And the master went to the market also. And he found the same lady. And he confronted the lady. Why did you disturb my, my servants? And he said, I was just surprised to see him here. We have an appointment in I have an appointment in Kawempe with him. Today. The other one was running away from he ran to Kawempe to hide. And the appointment is in Kawempe. Which is death. So we cannot run away from death. The day of your death, you just need to prepare for it. You just need to be ready that it is coming anytime. anytime. Fourth day, that which I'm going to send on today and tomorrow, even on Wednesday, is the day you discover why you were born. The day you discover your purpose. Your purpose. Purpose. Yeah, purpose. You're true. Mm -hmm. You're true. Purpose. That is the greatest day of our lives. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. If you don't know the purpose of this mic, it can be used as a cane to cane to discipline your child. This tells you that many things are abused because we don't know their purpose. Purpose is the original intent. Purpose is the reason why you are on earth. Purpose is the reason why you were born. Purpose is the reason why you exist. Purpose is the reason why you're breathing. What are you doing exactly on earth? The problems you solve. The solutions you give us. The things that you give to us. 
What is your purpose? Have you ever thought that you're a person who has a purpose on earth? Or you think you are just a mistake on earth? No one is on this planet by mistake. We are here for divine appointment. There was a need in the world that made your creation necessary. There was a gap, uh, oh, an empty space that Wa needed you to come and fill it. So the goal is for us to discover which gap or which empty space did I come to fill here on earth. And you must discover that before you die. God is the one who gave you the purpose. You must discover that purpose. I've said God gave it to you. But it is you to discover it. That's why the day you discover your purpose is great is, is, is important. Chaos is a result of people that have not yet fulfilled their purpose. The world, we have a debt to the world to find our purpose. We need to discover it. We need to nurture it. We need to cultivate it. It is like a seed. We need to plant. We need to water it. We need to weed it. We need to harvest it. We need to serve it to the people. What is your purpose? The day you discover your purpose is the greatest day on earth. We go to school not to receive our purpose but to refine our purpose to discover our purpose to develop our purpose. What is your purpose on earth? I've said it's like a seed you need to plant it. You need to dis you need to de develop it. You need to cultivate it. You need to water it. You need to nurture it. What is your purpose? If you find jealousy people, those are people that have not yet found out what their purpose is. Envy is a proof that you don't know what you're doing on earth. Your guarantee of success is finding your purpose. Your fulfillment is in finding your purpose. And everything we do on this planet must be related to our purpose. And if you leave your place of purpose, Failure is inevitable. You know, purpose dictates everything we do. The books we read, the careers we have, the, the, everything that we do must be dictated, must be guided by our purpose. God is concerned about our success. And that's why he wants you to find out your, your purpose. He wants me to find out my purpose. Because my blessing is in, in finding my purpose. Let me give you seven truths about purpose. In the, the, in, the, in the verses of the Bible. Number one. God has a purpose for everyone. No one is here without a purpose. He says in Exodus chapter 9 verse 16. But I've raised you up for this very purpose. That I may show my power and that my name might be proclaimed in all the earth. So Pharaoh is raised, he has a purpose. 
that God might show his power and his name might be proclaimed in all the earth. Number two, God's purpose can't be undone. He says in Job 42, that I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. Alan, you interpret from here. Okay? Let me read as you interpret. Number three. God is purpose. Is is one one that lasts. He says. In Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Many are the plans in a person's heart. But it's the Lord's purpose that prevails. So man must have plans. But the, those plans should fall into the purpose of God. Because it is the purpose of God that prevails. Number one, I've said God has a purpose for everyone. Number two, I've said God's purpose cannot be undone. Number three, I've said God's purpose is one that lasts Number four. Every person is born with a purpose. Proverbs chapter 20 verse 5. The purpose of a person's heart are deep waters. They have said they are deep waters. So you should be skilled. You should seek the Lord. You should get close to the Lord. For you to be able to go down and, 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 and go and get that water which is deep. But one who has insight draws them out. The purpose of a person's heart are deep waters. But one who has insight draws them out. Number one, we've said the purpose of God has a purpose for everyone. That is Exodus chapter 9 verse 16. Number two, we've said God's purpose can't be undone. That is Job chapter 42 verse 2. God's purpose is the one that lasts. That is Proverbs chapter 19 verse 21. Every person is born with a purpose. That is uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 5. Number 5. God works through all situations to fulfill his purpose. Number 5, as I've said, God works through all situations to fulfill his purpose. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. And we know that all things, that we know that in all things God works for the good for those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose. So it's, it's paramount that you don't ignore the situations that you're going through. Good or bad. They will reveal the purpose you have to, your purpose on earth. Number six, God has a greater purpose in saving us. So if you're saved, God has a greater purpose for you. Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. He has saved us and called us to a holy life. He has saved us and called us to a holy life for emphasis. No, uh, for emphasis. Okay. He has saved us and called us to a holy life. 
Not because of anything we have done But because of his own purpose and grace This verse tells us that even though we are under grace Holiness is part of what a prerequisite that the Lord wants demands us. Because he has called us and saved us to a holy life, not because we have done, not because of what we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace. Number seven, God's purpose is like a fire burning inside us. So you're like, what if I don't want to do it? Jeremiah tells us in Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. His word was in me, in my heart, like a burning fire shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. So God has a purpose for you which you cannot run away from. It was designed by God. It's discovered by you. The discovery is yours. That's why we have to seek the Lord. That's why we have to look to, to find out what we seek the Lord to find out what plans, what is this, what was on his mind when he was creating me. And if you want to know the things that are in your heart, if you want to know, if you want to have answers on this planet, the best thing to go to is questions. You, you need to ask yourself a lot of questions. The most important thing on earth is a question. Questions reveal passion. Questions reveal trust. Questions reveal focus. Questions reveal who is important to you. Questions reveal what is important to you. Questions reveal who you are. Questions reveal open open doors for conversations and At, connections. Questions are the beginning of discoveries of life. Questions host answers on earth. The difference in seasons is the questions that you ask. Questions, questions reveals falsehood and uh, Manipulators. So, what kind of questions are you asking yourself? Questions will reveal what you are. So, I've designed 12 questions for you here that will help you to ask yourself, that you'll ask yourself to see where. What is your purpose? Number one. What are, what are you passionate about? What are you passionate about? If you get the answer, it will give you a clue or it will be an indicator to what your purpose is. Whose world are you determined to improve or to change. In other words, what kind of people that are on your heart? The lame, the sick, orphans, unsaved, pastors, the church. What? is on your heart. And why do you want to improve it? Number three. Whose disrespect will you decide to ignore? Uh, pardon? Whose disrespect would you wish to ignore? 
Number four. Whose attention and approval matters to you the most? Montuchi. What are you willing to keep doing? What are you willing to keep doing and keep up with it no matter what? What single goal is worth one hour a day for the rest of your life? Atenga chigendele wa checho Choso bolo okumalida kesa wemu Murunaku Okumalobu na What single goal Chigendele wa checho What single goal Is worth your one hour a day Ngo sobolo okuchimala kesa wemu Murunaku For the rest of your life Okumalobu na mubobo na If you don't have a job Bobanga toi na mulimu How would you choose to Fill those hours. We are in lockdown. This is a question that is probing you. Probing you. Okay. What's up? If you don't have a job, how would you choose to fill? those hours who has invested in your life and why number nine how do you want to be remembered how do you want to be remembered number ten if you knew you were not if you knew if you knew you were going to die At the end of this year. Singo li yaka kutema. Tiogenda kufa. Kunkomerele yomu waka gunomu December. What would you do? Wandi kozechi. And how would you do it? Ela wandi chiko zootia. Number 11. Eche kuminechi mu. If money was not a problem. Singa sente techibade chizivu. What would you do? Wandi kozechi. That is important. Eche chukuru nyo. It is an indicator to what you are supposed to do. If money was not a problem. Because what you are saying if I had money. Now if money was not a problem. What would you do? What kind of thing would you do for free and you be filled with joy? These are indicators to what you're supposed to do. They indicate what your, what your purpose is. John chapter 1 in verse 19. Here is a man who knew what his purpose was. We are going to study a little bit about these few scriptures. And then we shall wind up from there. This man is called John. Verse 19. Now this was John's testimony when the Jews, leaders in Jerusalem, sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. I want you to pay attention. These people are coming to John. And they know that this is John. So this question, they don't need John's name. They want to know what is his purpose. Because they have come to John and they are asking John who are you? They are saying John who are you? So they don't want the name. They want the assignment. They want the calling. And I want you to look at the kind of people they have sent to him. Priests and Levites. Don't lay men. Who are you? 
That is a question to you. Who are you? I know we have those questions in the inside of us. We have a lot of people that have at least found out what they are. Who have known, discovered their purpose. And once we get close to them, they dwarf our, 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 what we have been doing. Who are you? Question number one, who are you? They are they're asking John. I expect him to give him his give them his name. Hear his answer. He did not fail to confess. The, the English word is he did not fail to confess if you're asked who are you do you have the answer for John he did not fail to confess but he confessed freely I am not the Messiah because he knew these people that had come to him thought that he was a Messiah of the things he was doing. So he answers them I'm not the Messiah. Another question. They ask him the second question. They ask him then who are you? People are asking us questions wherever we are. In the neighborhood, people are asking you, who are you? At your workplace, people are asking you, who are you? In your family, they are asking you, who are you? You need to confess freely. You need to be acquainted with who you are. That question is a question of purpose. And very many people are struggling in that area. But the Lord is saying that let us seek him that he looked, is it Psalm 14 verse 2, that he looked down on the sons of men to see if there is any who understands that seeks the Lord. We need to seek the Lord to get to know our purpose. If you are not the Messiah, then who are you? They suggested for him before he answered. Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Now I just want you to think. You is watching me and you is listening to us. If someone came and suggested a priest or a Levite and came to you and he says, are you Elijah? You would go get them by hand and take them to the people that have been despising you and tell them, tell them what you have seen in me. He said, I am not Elijah. We have many people doing things because someone came and said that that's what, that is their call. He says, I am not. Number one, he confessed on the first question. Is, he confessed freely. The second question, he says, I am not. They ask a third question with the suggestion, Are you the prophet? He answered, No. It is even in commas, No. Do you have the strength to say no? To a call that a person, a purpose that a person is seeing in you, which is not your call. Yes, you have been singing. But you know that you're just doing this thing because there is no one to sing. And some lady, some man somewhere comes around and says, You're, you're gifted in singing, and God is calling you to, to, to be a musician. Would you say no? Would you say no? You just confirm to them the, the worship leader, the worship captain, and tell him, uh, You've been, you've been uh, questioning my gift. Uh, 
Uwa kugame ntualika mafuta kwa kuyimba Choko lo mkua atakumukono No mtuwale la wada kukule mbela mkuyimba No mgamba chila bikavuli joto manyi Katono kwa kugame chiche endi Finally yo, They said Who are you? I just want you the, to just listen to the way these guys are, are pushing John to the, to the wall. And they want him to, they want, they don't want his name. They want his purpose. Finally they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back. To those who sent us. Please you who is listening me. There are people that are sent. There are people that are angry. There are people that they are orphans. They come to you and they are asking. What should we expect from you? Who are you? Give us an answer. To take back to those who have sent us. Before he answered it, they gave him another question. What do you say about yourself? <laughs> that is a big question. Write it somewhere. What do you say about yourself? What can you say about yourself? If you're given five minutes, an hour, a lifetime, a lifetime, you are thirty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. You are married. The question is, what do you say? About yourself. You know that people can talk about others for hours and they cannot talk about themselves for five minutes. What do you say about yourself? They asked John, What do you say about yourself? I like his answers. He replied in the words of Isaiah, the prophet. I am the voice of the one calling in the wilderness Make straight the way of the Lord Are you Elijah? That is very big He says no Are you that prophet? He says no Are you the, are you the Messiah? He says no they asked him, what do you say about yourself? He says, I'm just a voice. No big deal. I'm just a voice. We want to be called big things that the Lord has not called us to do. It's not the big things that we do, but it's not the big things that we do, but the small things that the Lord has called us to do. Better to do little things that the Lord has called you to do than doing big things that the Lord has not called you to do. We have many people sweating in the things that the Lord has not called them to do. I am just a voice. He steals them. I'm just a voice. Who are you? What do you say about yourself? Who are you? It's a big question. And how do we discover what we are? Let me give you six, six things you need to do in your seeking the Lord that will help you, you and me, to discover our purpose on us. Kamba webi ntu mukage bigendo tu ya ambako nzi nawe nga watu nonyamo kama nga bigenda kutu ya ambako kuzule chiru biru wacha fekunsi. If you're born again. Bobango li murokole. Because I've told you. Kubanga mba gambia. The first day. Urunako rusoko rukuru. Is today. Urunako rukuru. The second day. Urunako rukuru. Is the day of salvation. Urunako rukuru. The third day. Urunako rukuru. The third day. Urunako rukuru. The third day. Is the day of death. It is coming any time. Urunako rukuru. Fate nga ruje sawa yuna. Today I've just decided to expound on the fourth day. And the day you will discover 
why you were born. Atenga lwe runaku lori zula ensonga lwachi wazaiwa. Today you discover who you are. Olunaku lori zula chichori. Number 1. Echisoka. Confess and forsake sin as soon as we are conscious of it. Yatula era wenenye olwechi bicho mbagira wonga wakachizula. If you're going to discover your purpose. Bobango genda kuzule chirubiri lwacho. Always bulijjo confess yatula and forsake era wenenye confess yatula repent wenenye and forsake ato chireke eme number 2 echo kubiri be continually and unconditionally yielded to the holy spirit bulijjo wewe yo eliyo moyo mtu kuvu awataribu kwa kulizo bonna continually bulijjo Number three. Study the word of God. To discern his will. And then do whatever he tells you to do. I've said study. Because study is the third is the second level of the word. Number one is reading. Number two is study. Number three is meditation. But study. The word of God. And the purpose is to discern his will. Then to do whatever he tells you to do. Spend time in prayer every day. That is number four. Spend time in prayer every day. What is your prayer life? Number five. Respond to opportunities for service as he leads. As he leads. Because everyone wants to stand here. I don't know why. The pulpit. But this is pulpit is very small for all of us. He may lead you to go on the street. He may lead you to, uh, to, to do service by your behavior in that shop where you work. He may lead you to serve in, in, with, in children. So, in our minds, we know what we call service. But us calling it service does not mean that God calls it service. I've said respond to opportunities for service as he leads you. Finally, cultivate the fellowship and counsel of other Christians. We have many people that don't congregate. And Jesus is their pastor. All pastors are fake. My pastor is Jesus. Please, you are a Christian. A Christian a Christianity is a group of people that have that display, that portray the life of Christ. The group of people is a body. So if you say that you are a Christian and you are alone, yes, you are the body of Christ, but you, you have to be connected to a local church where Christians congregate. Because our call or our purpose sometimes is seen by the people. People come and tell us what they see that we can do. And we have confirmation or evidence in our hearts. About it. They are telling us something that they are seeing in our lives. But we confirm it in our heart. We know that what they are saying is true. Yes, we've been working on that in our lives. Yes, I had a dream about it. So they are, they are, what they are saying, what they are saying 
they are just confirming the evidence that the Holy Spirit has put in my heart. So that's why we need to have a fellowship with the, with the Christians. Let me repeat these things because they are important. Number one, confess sin and for confess and for sex sin as soon as you are aware of it. If you want to know, if you if you want to be aware, if you want to discover your purpose, sin will draw you away from that which you are supposed to do. Number to be continually and unconditionally yielded to him or to the Holy Spirit. Study the word of God to discern his will and then to do whatever he tells you to do. Spend time in prayer every day. Respond to opportunities for service as he leads you. Cultivate the fellowship and counsel of the Christians. As I'm winding up, I want to There's a man of God who talked about the richest spot on earth. Sport H4. And each one of us has it. We have it. In that area, no one is a, uh, is a pauper. No one is saying that uh, at least we don't have it. Everyone, each one of us, we have it. The place where they bury you. Each one of us, we have a place where they bury us. And that place, this man says, is the richest place on earth. It is better than the gold mines. It is better than the diamond mines. Better than everything. My question was, why? Then he says, that's where you find people that died without fulfilling their purpose. In that grave, that's where there is a man who died with the books that are not written. That's where you'll find a woman that died with the children that we are supposed to be born to change the world and should not give birth to them. Factories that we are not opened up. Sermons that we are not preached. That if someone can go and mine that place, it's the richest place. Now, the problem is, even you right now, who is not mindful of your purpose, you're walking towards the third day of death, and you're going to add to the wealth of that spot. We are supposed to die empty. We are supposed to empty ourselves here on earth. And the night dancers are the witches. If they are there, they eat the, the, the body that is empty. When we die, we Many things pass by our caskets. The people that have been caring for us, they come and pass by. I just want you to imagine that day when you are in that casket and people are passing around. Your parents are passing around. The friends you've been working with pass around. What would they say about you? Your children, your sisters, your workmates, what have you left behind for them? 
What legacy have you left behind? What have, how have you been useful to them? How have you been impactful in their lives? That does not um, have a lot of pain in our hearts. But this, these are other things that pass around. And for them they pass around with vengeance. The books that you have not written and you have died. They come around also. They look at you. We came to you to give us life. You have not given us life. See now we are dying with you. What would die with you if you died today? There are things that you're supposed to give life to. There are people that are supposed to receive life from you. There are people that are going to understand God because of you. If you die today without impacting them, they are going to come to your casket. And they will come and say, we are dying with you because you did not give us life. We came to you and you don't give us life. And they will come to you and my question today as I'm winding up. If you died today, what would die with you? Let me read you a verse of scripture. Psalm 22 verse 18. We are seeking the Lord in this month that those things would not die with us. That we would leave this world empty. That we would empty ourselves. What evidences do you have in your heart that the people are talking about you around wherever you are and you have the confirmation that I had that thing. I have that thing in, the, in my heart. There are things that people would talk about and you feel there is no evidence of it in your heart. But there are things that people point at in your life. And you have evidence that the Lord has called you to go and fulfill that thing in life. Big question, if you died today, what would die with you? Which songs will die with you? And they will never come on this planet because they came to you and you have not given them life, they have died with you. What you have not given life to, it will not have life. I want you to think about that thing as you're planning, you're seeking the Lord this month. Let us seek the Lord to help us. First of all, to help us discover what we are supposed to do because He's our Maker. And secondly, to give us the grace to go out and implement it. At times we will find that it's not just implementing, we need to nurture it, we need to cultivate it, we need to develop it, we need to protect it. Again, it calls for us to go back and seek him. My main point, if you die today, what will die with you? If you died today, what would die with you? If you died today, what would die with you? Father, we thank you for this evening. Help us to die empty. Let us invest everything that we have on this earth. We came on this planet full 
Let us leave this planet empty. We came on this planet loaded. And the things that you loaded in our lives, they only work on this planet. And as we are investing them, we are working on our eternal life. Give us the grace to discover that which you called us to do. Give us the grace to pray for it, to cultivate it, to weed it, to, to, to develop it. Give us the right people that will help us to nurture it. And give us the grace to implement it. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. Sembeza woli Sembeza woli Tonja woli da Tonja woli da Biwa yobyo na joli Ompite mwa galwa wo
wanyambo kukowola ikatu andawekisa Yesu yali mtu yenyini we wawochimanyi Ayomo ya mtu kufuge manyaga mavuga Oma ya wamo kama kubanga baimbuli yali emuonge na kwenti mchikolo cha yese Oba mulu nyiru wa yese mulifamu ya chikolo Mulifamu ya kendo kubanga alinemio yochinu Alimena kumo ya wamo kama umo ya wamani Omo ya woku tia katundo umo ya wamagesi Omo ya woku tia katunda we wawamo kama Isabi ayomo ya wamani ulu walilu Omo ya wamani nyambala Nyambasama nye tuambasama nye mulu kendo Tuamba sama nyolo si tutu kani tu silika na wuli na walu kanda gaba yoke na me bagaba na ekatonda tali yo tebiri yebo na wuli na ne gaba lukanda mulukda una Yesu ne silika ne sinda muchinga mo ne yene seba munda yangu nyambe ayi mukama o tu yame ekatonda weki se chinchi tu yame tu sili se tutu se kule boga de tu cheva ni tijoni no kama si tu kubie me. Wato mukama beza mukwa yoka no mubati zana gama timuge ne mubuse ye ye oba tudi ne yo mola la kaya ne bidenti ye yakulanga ay Yesu kaya ne bidenti ye yakulanga luli ay katono wechitiwa kumanga ya gama la bomo na kwendi kahu yo 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 kwenda yo geda kundi zasikwani la na kusimula busi buga tu busi busi wanga tose yo yo ne ga kumalo ne kona gama ti ye kwe oba tudi ne yo mola la. Saba mana ika tondo weki sa waso bolo kwa yomo sanya kati ya inge demu kusiba wali yomo kazi chimani volunti kati ya inge demu kusaba na kusiba kuno na yetu yamba senda senda miti mani ape chimani tebi kambo ya baso bolo kwe tebi mala na yomo yomo tu kuvu mo pogo se bolo kutoka kwe miti mani ape na tu kuvu disa na tu ya ya disa na tu agaza tu agaze ika tondo weki sa. Tuagaze kubanga te tu somola, tuagaze kubanga te tu lina mani mofe mukama. Singa tuaba te tu bisobola te tu ani kugambi. Singa tuaba te tu bisobola te tu ani tuke ganiza. Singa tuaba te tu bisobola te tu ani kute ganiza mu yigiriza. Te tu ani te ganiza ika tondo bechitima. Me tero ya kute ganiya kubanga ya banga te bitege de. Na me tu kute ganiya kubanga watu gama. Inti te muka. Temo kavira, temo kavira na ba na ba mwe. Temo kavira, temo ba tuwe kavira. Netu kama temo kama tu chimani. Netu inesonga lo achi watuleta. Mo kama wafe tu chimani. Netu waliwe songa lo achi tuli balam. Mo kama wafe tu chimani. Netu waliwe songa na yesonga jero tamani exactly. Ataba mo ba chimani me mo pili a mili ba kule bati ha. Ah, waliwe chimani netu jero checha me netu bokula. Na yibu zanti mo mesi ngaku na. Kolati, ati kolati, raka tu kaku kubo. Ali wogo tu mi ogendo kubo li rengiri. Na yemo kama tamani kizakteli wa wamwe tasa. Atenga mo kama wange chimani ti watu tasa watufu. Awamera makungula matufu kubanga watu tasa. Na wudi na kuko wolanga buli jona kwebu sako. Na yemo kama chepa kwebu sako. Nenga macho boya gala nega iri nega iri rentia nega iri rentia sabirechi. Mo kama wange kweta ga kweta ga buli runa kweta. Muli kase ya tu kweta ga mukama tu kweta ga gua sabolo kutu yamba tu kweta ga gua sabolo tu wadirira tu kweta ga gua sabolo tu onge na yo walwa masajja gua tu miyoku muli mogo eranga wa inesonga lwa chwa mufula manager wa inesonga lwa chwa mukama mukaso ye na ile kita kumuli mogo wa inesonga lwa chwa yo mukama ye kerina wa inesonga aika tondo we chisa wa inesokwango yo asha kukani sa ye na yo Ine songa lwa chimu kamo yo asha Muteke se lwa chichiri we chitu Muteke se lwa chua muteka wo Muteke se ika tondo we chiti wa je chikola nga cha guza Muli nyari ya mokama wafe Yesu Christo mwona zalethi Tuzo kumuza, tuzo kunonya, tuzo kusaba, tuzo katondo wekisa Tuzo kumanya luachi wetu li mokama Tuzo kumanya aika tondo wechi sechinji Tuzo kumanya aika tondo wentisa Tuzo kumanya tuyambo kuyye njibaba ino kusiyia Ayi mokama tuyambo vuta sepe suri ya kwa nagama Na yotu yambe tu kwa vejo tu wadeno wekendeleza Waluoko wadolo 
luyimba gendo kena kumachanga tachalo manyi kale wachiri muzuku se muchirogo luyimba lucha agenda maso wachiri alu recording na ebule mekufa Kubangoli tubuza Wali wa msenja go wa de talanta Anga ziritanu Wali wa go wa de pidate Wali wa go wa demo Joko weta nalimu kwe mulu gunya Gambo we pili Lua chikwe toko la miku La yela luuza Itumo kama wangi zetanu Sari na tachima yina kuchimanya Ita yina jastiri njo Na yina pili Ona yina pili Ita yina kwenge na gena nyana ye Joka no we pili Alubili la kuruwa na tanu Atenga ye mamu wa pili Omwe mu ya gamba kanji zike Ndaba sina mo gaso bali abeta nube ba ino mo gaso tu ya bo kuchima nyambo ya mumu area ye bali ya mumu echo chomo mumu ado kuchikola ba ya bali kamanti bali chosu lo kuchikola chikole no moti mako chikole kubange mako mbeteri yote tu yenza kole la yo na fembo kamache nuba tu kwa la iti kwa wate mo tu ya mo jikose sa ingeli mo ne tu jikumi sem. Mulinyele Yesu Kwa wate pili muyambe wachira tegereta ina pili Kwa wate tanu muyamba tegereti ya wewa vinji Ero muongele na amanyo kubikola Maibuli eka mantu wa wabuli mutu ngobu sobo zibu wa manya wa wamua Gabu wa muo wa sobo zibu watu wa wakama Tuyambe aikatondo we chitima Kwa ni mtu wa manye aikatondo we kisa Tuleme kogela tiabu nzimba sabira Kwa ni leme kogela tiabu nzimba hii zinyima Kwa ni leme kogela tiabu nzimba hii zinyima Omala le me koge na zemba we chigambo buli ronaku. Omala le me koga mati zenga ba sete o. Omala le me koge na kubanga tuere baby tundo biyanja ulo. Ba ibuli eka mati tuli baby tundo biyanja ulo. Na yomo bini gogoli kumu. Omo bini gabe gukole baby tundo biyanja ulo. Na yenge baby tundo biyana baby sanya party sanja ulo. Na yenga baby mali disa baby kole tewa. Amaso tege molo kunya nega gamba. Iko yopa tuno li na zemba mo chenge na zemba tuno li na. Teka kuyi. Kebe gata koye totu ganya kukowa Totu ganya mosejo yo kukowa kumoni mojar Totu ganya mosombo yo kukowa mwo somba mwari Ichi manyetu mwani mebi sombo zera mwani mebi kuma Mwani mwani disappointment senyeja ikatondo we kisa Na ye katondo we chiti woga we kisa Yo masisa new every morning Lord Chibanga mante kise chipia Nani impuli lo kuteke na te kisa Tewa chisinga kola hanti Kubange nyuba mama nyo nyisinga la nchi neba hange mpia Eme kanisa nyala wanga wajikola kone rojiwa Na ye kisa cho tewa chikola kumo kama wange wa ah Tewa chidabili zabu dabili zane it's new Every morning chiba chipia E kise jo chinsa wa E chabu lino na kuchise wa wa Echabuli na kuchise wava zada wachala. Echabuli na kuchise wava sanya wazada wami. Echabuli na kuchimala wasumba. Echabuli na kuchimala wajimbi mukama. Echabuli na kuchimala wawayo. Kubango kugaba buwele sahi mukama. Tu yambe buli mtu akole. Igomo tima gobe guli aikatondo wechisa. Tu yambe tu kole awatani na kwemo lugonya. Tu yambe tu kole awatani na kuvye kuba. Tu yambe tu kole awatani na kuvye kuba. Kukowa Kubangu ngamieta bakulina Ozabu jama Nikawe Chiteke zanti wali wama Nyakatobu jabu lirunaku Muka magema nyike saba Genga mati zabu jama Nyike pebu lirunaku Tutamule mayenga tetukowa Ingoli awele zanyo Kubanga wasulanga konsozi Mayenga tukowa Nebatuko kwa galo kue mene Ano baga mati za chensingo kwa gala Ome mene chendia kwe kukola The will of my father Kulirenkolo kwa gala Kwa katonda Ewe wawo mkama wange Omenyeza wevi tumena kwenga Bwa yaya ni recho Ipo kuyayana Ipo kuyayana mkama Wali wamo koso yongali wakala Bili da manabo yesu Muwa kuyayana kuluwa manabo Inga chima nyite mkulu wali empera Inga chima nyite awe atia kwe mkama Inga chima nyite awe reza kwe Inga chima nyite uwe kwa awe reza Mwayamba masego kubuka mkama we We wawo nga wa muwe chitiba na yenga maso gaga tunuli zagwe asoba leka tondo we chise chinji okubangali nendisa wakati wana ye Kutia, inga kutia mchama Wata joso bolo kutia baka mabe Wata joso bolo kutia mwana katondo wekisa Aba na jaba kala no kwa kalo kuyoko kutufu mkama Mwini nyali ya mkama wafe Yesu Christo mwana zarefe Tuga manti tutunu 
a Yesu. Tuga madi tutu no bana yusisi. Tuga madi tutu no ekani sayo. Tuga madi tutu no bewe itira. Tuga madi tutu no bewa yakala. Tuga madi tutu no bwalo wosokuba besikwa. Bayipuli yoke domo sanya paulo yeye yogera. Naga madi mo kama yando wosa. Okuwe nanga ni mwesikwa. Nate kamu bwe nesa yando wosa. Chitegeza watulo wosa. Katunja kuwe na besikwa. Watulo wosa ke bolo wosa. Walabanga tu Kenda kubera besiwa, jebanga mati mukama tu be ambe tu bere besiwa. Nyamba bere mwesiwa mwebe biyopiti de, nyamba bere mwesiwa mwebe biyopiti de mukama. Nyamba bota kolo kota bakama bage, nyamba bota kolo kota Yesu, nyamba bota kolo kota katondo weki sa, nyamba bota kolo kota moye wa mukama, nyamba katondo weki se change. Kubanga kubu watu nuli la wambala, era wando wosanti na ba mwesiwa, amakazo yewa mulo wosanti ba na ba mwesiwa, na mukwaso wa manager, amulo wosanti. Na ba mwesiwa, na mkuwa sawa miyaziki daire kita, ba mulo wosa ti na ba mwesiwa, ba mulo wosa ti abantu ajepatege, ba mulo wosa ai katondo weki sa, jebanga mati tu yiki dize, tu sume se ai katondo weki sa, ika tu chima ni tu ene betu yita mbi tu kola kola volunti, te wali chijalwa butanua, te te wali chijanga tomani, na imba ibuli ega mati na buli bukemi bote kwa wudu kiro, eh. Katondo weki se chini tu yame tu yama weta gogo sima tu katu sima tule kubanga bali kukeme boba bali kugeza sima wali wabu dukiro tu yame boka mabu dukiro wabu tumula be tu yame katondo wechi tu wabu tutu katu tutu kemo chivu kicho ba ibuli kamati ne bate kwe bivuka mo yusi na iri kwe bivuka ba ibuli yadu kanga na yiki na yamera ngasi fuchi mani tu yokuwe na yera chima ni tu boka ma wali wabu dukiro bali mera wali wabu dukiro. Ai katondo weki sa tu yamba masoka fega guke kalabe tu yamba masoka fega guke ingate tu kunde muchibi ingate tu se obori ya agali yandi bade ya tu goma na yandi bade ya moto gombo la na mojeo na yena gaba kange nde wala saga la kula ba mwana wange gaba na genda wala paybuli ya gamanti ba ya kuto wasi di oma na beri atu kachor no kula wa masoka agali fe ye yonge na yu chitege za tolo zirwa liwo na yega masoka Kali masine, nyabo kula bolu solo mokama, nyabo kula bobo dukiro bobo mokama. Nsebira bana bangi bala bobo dukiro. Muri nyala Yesu, nsebira wasi puti mo yuli damo kama la bobo dukiro. Muri nyala Yesu, nsebira mo chalo ya ya galo kusula wa makage. Ala bobo dukiro, muri nyala Yesu, nsebira mo sanyo ya ya galo kule kwa bana. Aya galo kuma kuma kumo ni la bate na ya ya teru ma feu. Mo ya bala bobo dukiro, muri nyala Yesu. Ya bamo samba ya galo kusula wuchi siwo Iga bimbo tani oku kolo kota kumo suseko Kala bobo tani oku kule beso venja ulo Iga bamo ulira babi koye nyu Iga bamo ulira teba chaso wala kwe yongera yo Iga bamo ulira mo kama watabu se tabu se Iga bamo ulira mo kama wange bali disappointed Ikwe gaini tomu yensa webi intubina Ne kama na bobo ndukiro webu li Kula wama soka feke masibe, kula wama soka feka la bemo kama, kula wama soka feku bangu mani moja tumi doko na alusi jitu kani jikaluwa, jitu kani tu wili danga tu chasa bola kenda, abana katua gala kuba sula wo, katua gala kubire kwa tu kende, obwele zanga katua gala busula tu duke, na yekwe gairi tete tuleka, tu tuleka wasi me kani sayo kurasi. Wakamba na mani kema kwa bete gali chiza, ekani sa waje zimbira kurazi, ekani sa yiyo yiyo mukama, yeko watwe zimbira kurazi. Na mani kema kwa bete wakana, wakamba tete gali chiza, toka ganya kuchiza na katolo, toka ganya chiza na kamu mukama, poli njali mukama wa Facebook Kristo mna zarefi, yangu lo tunyiza kurazi kema zima goche chiga mboche mukama. Thank 
kubange chikambo chumulamu Tu ya mboku na makubo gari ya geta Tu ya mboku tunuri na makubo gari ya geta mukama Oko miya wabu chudi zimuri nyeri ya yesu Kaba kwa wenti selo wechitiva Kwe bari katondo wekisa kubango tuonya Kwe bari mukama wange kubango tuyamba Kwe bari mwenyeza wevi tuwena kubango tusasira Kwe bari mwenyeza wevi tuwena kubato genda kutuwa mulira Ichi mwenye mutima kubange to genda kutuleka Kubango watu gamba tukirize Zikiri zangu tuwa Zikiri zange mutima kwa mokama wange mkufu chetuli Maibulega ya nega mato kwe dalikiri la kwa pe Mkuteka kumoyo Nechechi umuza Kumanga we manyati viene la likiri la Oviteka kumoyo gono viteleka munda Nota misula wala na imo viteleka Nacho chingumia Chingumia la chitu nyueza mkama We bale katondo we chitiva We bale katonda yeza vionda Kwa bale mokama kubango maso kubikona Kena maso ngoru mba gana Ako yoko naga tuwe chika Ako yoko naga tuwe chika mwula Ako yoko naga imini loku tule mesa Ako yoko naga gama taji ya kola mwuri mwe Ako yako gola vanga vantu Ako yako gola vango yomu kule mese Ako yako gola vanga chi Na yengu kakasa koyo Koyo kanyizo kukama tibote kata na musajja kati ofa Koyo lupa kano Oko msimu kwa ita kwaka Oko msimu kwa ita mwenzi Oko msimu kwa ita kwaka Tochima nyiti na wafuko Baba nyo kusomo kane bagenda nimeenda Na yenga na bachala babe babalina Chenga mati yingi na mulu talo Weli mbeke weyo kuyambule kako yangu Siba kumochi alisingo sichecho Siba kumanti olimufumbo mami watali wonganze Sichecho na chitekele nemanya sichecho Kama kasimu nga goba magombe Kakala kususa ya mge kukote papasa Kupula mubo omulaba ya gala kususa Kato na chia kuiti lokola Akamba singa chisula woja kubo ufute Echo mulebe cha ito kufa Okufa sikuwe kufa mbili kunu Kupanga bo kufa mungo limu kristo Mungo akishwa lobola mie Mbutume paula yoke na nangama Ndo kufa geba goba jari Chepanga matero mba kana goyo Muli nyali ambo kama wafe Yesu kristo muna zarefi Mkama wafe cha wandi kiwa Inti nalaba sitani ga kwa ngali goko miyansa Na yemba wadrobu yizo Boku linya kumesota Linya basu wabu sangwa Na manjiko na gomulabe Wakama tite wali china tukola bubina katono Wakana no gama te wali Chikenda kutukola bubina katono Nimirida mubu yinza be wampa Wakama ama wade bu yinza Mubu yinza nange bu nyimirida Mubu yinza nange bu njoke rako Mubu yinza nange bu ngamba Nimirida mubu yinzo kulu mba gana Kwa musimu kwa baita kwaka Abantu bali ayide waka Mubalete deche baito kwaka Mubalete deche baito wensi Mubalete deche baito wusungu Akalu ikaba mbade Bali kumukule mbeze wakwanga wakuma Bali kubentwe vitalimu Nomba gana goya gagale tobu kawu Nomba gana goya gagale Kale tobu sungu Oku sale misango kutani kwa abu tukilivu Oku sale misango tukulumba Tulomba gana kwa goya Oku sale misango Tulomba gana kwa goya Galo wosanta Aba demontu oba montu Nomba gana kwa goya Gokuluwane lomba Nomba gana goya Gona gokuluwana Oku tabu koku yombo Abu sungu Agalu yi Tuka wamba tuka tema tema Tuka wamba tuka zikiriza Tuja yemba zeza foku tema tema Maibuli kamanti tulimba zeza Muka mezi wana Tulibi akuruwa nyesabye Muli nyele yesu Eri nyele tebo wansi wenji boku tulokola Eri nyele chutama Maibule yoke na mole velation Nega manti mubo tukili bosane misango Eri orwana Chene batu imili la mubo yeso mamo kama Okulo mbaka na manji kwa naga vema kombe Okulo mbaka na emeyocho neji pedi emi vi Emeyocho na tuji wamba tuji kunya priya Tuji zikini za muli nyele yesu Kwa goyo go naga entalo Entalo mase katika mafumbo Entalo mase katika mafumbo Tuyo mbaka na goyo gentalo Tutu mechikambo cha katonda Ede bafumba baso wakande Ede bafumba balu wana gana Oli goyo Si songa yo nori kasim Ole tobo songa songa obo tanimo Mbutu sobolo kuru wana gana Toge na kusobola Tulo mpaka na mubu yinza kutema tema Kutema tema kwa kaula bafumbo Kwa kaula bafumbo Tulumpa gana 
says in the psalm in the book of psalm chapter 90 verse 12 david says this prayer and says so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom if you can just raise up your hand and tell him jesus teach me to number my days teach me teach me Teach me, Lord. Teach me to know my days. Teach me. Teach me that I may get a heart of wisdom that I may get a heart of wisdom teach me teach me teach me to know my days teach me teach me that I may get a heart of wisdom that I may get a heart of wisdom so teach me oh yes teach me teach 
to me to know my days teach me teach me that I may be a hat of wisdom that I may be a hat of wisdom teach me Teach me, come and tell him, Jesus. Teach me, teach me to know my days. Teach me, teach me that I may gain. Lord, teach me. That is my prayer, Lord. Teach me. One more time, tell him, Jesus. Teach me. Teach me, Lord. Teach me.
and tell me. only one thing that is important that you do only the things that God has called you to do Hallelujah. but David says in the book of Psalm chapter 90 it is verse 12 he says teach me to number my days that I may gain a heart of wisdom. No wonder God says, I have found a man after my own heart. As he refers to David, it is the heart of God that you know your days. It is the heart of God that you know your purpose.
Cause you're the maker I'm the clay You're my father I'm your child I want to do the things you made me for I want to do your way some things and he made very beautiful jars but as he was making this very beautiful jar the Bible says it was marred in his hands Can the clay ask the porter, what are you making out of me? No, it can't. Why 
Well, God is our maker, he's our porter. We are just the clay, we are just the clay. The clay means you are in his hands. He makes what he wants out of you, and he purifies you, and he makes you worthy, and he makes you holy, and he makes you everything that he wants you to be. How I pray that we as the clay may learn how to number our days. We just want to do the things that God has made us for. We just want to do the will of God. I'm telling you. Gain 